happened. I mean, you knew that he was going to come forward and come at you. Uh, he said he was going to fight that way. You know, that wasn't the Deontay that we've seen for, you know, 40-some-plus fights. What do, you, what do you think happened? Did he hurt you early on that, you know, affected you the rest of the way? No, he, did, he didn't hurt me at all. It was the fact that, you know, my, my uniform coming out, Kevin, was, was way too heavy. For me, I, did, I didn't have no legs uh, from, the, from the beginning of the fight. Wow. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. As you guys just heard, some leaked footage from <clears throat> Kevin O. And that was the audio from the conversation that he had right after the loss to Tyson Fury, where Deontay Wilder said that in his ring walk suit, it was too heavy and his legs were gone. Claims he had made that Wilder never said this and he that he was misquoted. Ole had been called a liar on social media, so last night he dropped the audio where Wilder clearly states that his legs were gone before the fight due to his suit he wore in the ring entrance. Now remember something, people. This was the first excuse that Wilder made. This was before all the other bullshit that, that accumulated through the time, right? This was, hey, my suit was too heavy. And people laughed that shit out of the park, right? Your suit was too heavy. Okay, if it was too heavy, you should have took it off and put some fucking trunks on. Put a robe on. Put the little, I know they got that little bronze bomber, the, the, the copper mask. You know what I mean? That was actually pretty cool. They had that somewhere in a fucking duffel bag. He could have just put that on. But him wearing a big ass suit and representation of a uh, Black History Month, like I, I don't know how that is, but you know, because of the way it looked or whatnot. But that's what he wanted to project or portray. As you clearly hear him say, it was too heavy. He said that. This was directly after that fight. And then what ended up happening was, since someone from Team Wilder wanted to play damage control or play Mr. PR and say, oh, well, he never said that. Just like Tay Jones, just I just got a tweet that told me that, hey, you remember when Tay Jones said that? Of course I remember when he said that. And everybody gave me shit about, well, why did you blast him? I'm like, well, that's what he told me. You know what I mean? I He has given me a breakdown of what happened or of his perception. Well, his perception was absolutely wrong. So that's a, that's, that's a good way of saying that he was lying about it. And if he was lying about it, it was he lying because he was trying to protect Deontay or did Deontay put him up to it? That's the only question you ask yourself now because this guy, Kevin O, was all, that was no doubt Deontay Wilder. Okay, you can't, you really can't, I'm good at impersonations, but it ain't like I came there and said, oh, well, I, it was my, it was, the suit was too heavy. No, that was Deontay Wilder. Okay, that was his voice, his words, and why his legs were gone. So what does that mean? That means if that was the case, that 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 throws out the fucking gloves, don't it? Glove gate. It throws out the fact that Mark Breland spiked his water. It throws out the fact that oh, I had that's why I had an off night. You couldn't bear the strength or the burden of walking with this suit with whatever was attached to that suit, if it had batteries, extra layers, or whatever, from the locker room to the ring. Now, people are going to clown that shit just like they did then, but that's what happens when you try to lie about something that you already said. Look, this media world we live in, okay, this is the type of stuff where you say something, okay? Shelly Finkel's another victim, another party of uh, Wilder, if you say something and then you turn around and say you didn't say it, people can automatically research, instantly research, if you are lying or not, especially if it's documented to the world. Well, this guy had this particular footage, okay? And someone called him a liar. And nobody really wants to be called a liar, especially when they know damn well they're telling the truth. So what are they going to do? They're going to clear their name. That's all what happened. That's all Mark Breland's doing. Okay, that's what's happened. I don't now. I don't know about JDs and all those. That they see that's that's more fishy um, situations where you don't have JDs coming forth because at the end of the day, when he 
confessed that he thought Mark Breland spiked his water and JD's was there and he got on JD's, but then yet if JD's supposed to missed it, that was something that he totally looked talked over. You know what I mean? And, and if I'm Brian Custer, you know, shots out to him. I would have said, well, wait, well, why didn't you fire JD's? Because that was the gloves that you said that Tyson Fury cheated on. You knew Tyson Fury was coming forward and let me counterpunch that. I don't think he thought he was coming forward. He thought that Tyson Fury was going to fight the same way because he thought he, Tyson Fury couldn't punch. Let me let you guys listen to that again. Hold on a second. What do you think happened? I mean, you knew that he was going to come forward and come at you. Uh, he said he was going to fight that way. You know, that wasn't the Deontay that we've seen for, you know, 40-some plus fights. What do, you, what do you think happened? Did he hurt you early on that, you know, affected you the rest of the way? No, he, did, he didn't hurt me at all. It was the simple fact that, you know, my, my uniform coming out, Kevin, was, was way too heavy for me. I, did, I didn't have no legs um, from, the, from the beginning of the fight. Now... He blamed it. And then I know what this is. Let me counterpunch to you guys. What this is, is the fact that Deontay Wilder does not want to give Tyson Fury credit for being able to punch. That was the first thing. So what did he do? He blamed it on the uniform. This was the first excuse that he ever used. But I think what happened, he got so much backlash and people start laughing that shit out of the park, like I said, to... He had to come up with something else. And I think this is where it started. It started with the, the costume. Like, dude, the costume was too heavy. People all over from other sports was laughing that shit away. You know what I mean? My costume was too heavy. On top of the man had skinny legs. So you add that with the costume too heavy with somebody with skinny legs. Because I once upon a time used to have skinny legs. So I know what those jokes are about. They ain't cool. So he was like, okay. Uh, Tyson Fury beat me up. If you notice, oh, he didn't hurt me at all. So he threw that whole burden on the, on that costume just to get away from it. And if that's the case, if you weren't hurt at all, that means that you didn't feel those punches just like you claimed you didn't feel those punches in the first fight. That's why in between these fights, in between the fights one and two, he was calling Tyson Fury a, a, a feather duster. He was calling him a guy that can't punch, that can't knock out a gnat. He was calling them those type of things because he was criticizing this punching power despite being that tall and big. That's what he was doing. But he said it here after the loss that no, Tyson Fury didn't hurt me at all. So how do you go from that to egg weight shape form and uh, scratches in your ear and all that shit? How do you go to that? How, how do you go from that to that? That's the question you ask yourself. <laughs> Look, I can't make this shit up, but this is what happens when you try to make more excuses besides the initial excuse that you brought about. And then you try to throw everybody under the bus that claims otherwise. So those people you threw under the bus, they are coming for you. Okay. And that's what's happening. Another person, Kevin uh, Lowley, I think. Iol Lowley. Yeah. Kevin Lowley or Lowell dropped this audio on him. I will leave the link below, let you guys listen to it as many times as you want, okay? But that's what happens when you call people a liar when you're making excuses for a loss that you can't accept. But anyway, that's my take on it. You guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder admitting that he felt the costume was too heavy. And on top of that, you understand who else he threw under the bus? Those two men that made that costume. And then those men already came on file and said, hey, uh, I called Deontay and he said, no, 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 it's no, it's no fault of your own. See, he threw them under the bus, but he didn't want to admit that he threw them under the bus when they called him on that shit. So that's another person that he threw under the bus to make excuses on why he lost. Pathetic. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.